well, welcome and I uh, hope everybody's well out there. So, last night I watched a Netflix movie called Close. This is starring Naomi Replace, probably pronounced that wrong, uh, Sophia Nasir, probably pronounced that wrong, and uh, Indra Varma. She's from Games of Thrones. I really like her. Uh, Naomi is from um, the Dragon uh, stories. She's from Finland and she plays uh, a hired bodyguard. Sophie, who's from uh, Canada, very beautiful girl, she is inheriting a diamond mine and uh, basically needs protection. The first five minutes of the film sees the other one uh, looking after a news reporter in, uh, from uh, one of the networks out in Iraq. And then she gets transferred over to look after the heiress. And basically, the reason they want a girl looking after her is because she's shagged and fucked all the other bodyguards. So you see what's coming. Um, and then, basically, from there on in, which is an hour and a half, there's terrorism as they all try to kill the heiress to the big billion-pound fortune. Now, this film, again, Netflix original, uh, they've made over 90 films coming for 2019. I'm a big fan of Netflix. This film... I'm not going to go over the top about it. It's non-stop action. Uh, I'm probably going to give it around about a 6 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with it. It's filmed beautifully. I want to talk about the director. She was British. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't got a name, but she is a second-time director. And the film actually moves very quick. There's a scene in some water with some fish, which you'll see, which I really liked. It's very original, where they're trying to kill each other. You'll see it anyway. It's halfway through the film. I want to do spoilers. But this film is fine. If you've got nothing to do one afternoon, you can sit there and watch this, and uh, it's a good movie. It's non-stop action. I liked it. Watched it late at night. Enjoyed it. It's called Close, and it's out now on Netflix. Right, let's talk about other things. Uh, last few days, I haven't been seeing much of you, but I have been watching films. I have watched Bohemian Rhapsody. Very good performance. Love the film. Very sad that a man with that much talent, 45 years old, Freddie Mercury, died so young of an awful disease. I actually... Uh, I'll share a story with you. I was doing a commercial in London and I spoke to a girl, I was chatting her up basically, and I said to her, have you been doing much? And she said, yeah, I've just done a video with um, Freddie Mercury. I said, oh yeah, how's he? He said, well, he'll be dead by the end of the year, which I, I was like shocked. She looked terrible on the set. And of course, that was the year he died. And uh, it's an awful way to die of AIDS like that because he was such a massive talent. And the film itself was very well made. I have to say, all the cast around it was brilliant. One of my favourite Irish actors was in it, and uh, it was very, very good. I don't think he'll win the Oscar, which is a big statement from me, because he's favourite to win it. I think Christian Bell will win it for Vice. I think Christian Bell was outstanding as Dick Cheney. He put on six stone, and uh, it's just a lifetime performance from him. It's basically his Gary Oldman moment. It really was that good. So I might be wrong. We're going to make a few predictions when they come around, but I'm sticking with Christian Bell. Now then, what am I watching over the next few days? I am going to watch Bumblebee with my son. So that'll be something to look forward to. Still haven't seen Stan or Ollie, which I'm a bit annoyed about, but there, that'll come around. And there's lots to look forward to. Now, Green Book is coming out on uh, cinema release this weekend. If you do one thing for me, and I've got a few people to watch my videos now. I've got one of my videos, the, the Brawler, which comes out in America this weekend. I couldn't believe how many people have watched that. And that's a true story. Well... Green Book is also a true story, and I promise you, if you don't like that film, then don't listen to any more of my reviews. It's one of the most stunning acting performances of the year from both their two performances. It really is unmissable, and uh, you feel very sad at the end of it because of how much hatred there was to uh, black Americans throughout that time in America, and it really is a fantastic film. Don't miss it. So that's it, really, for me. I don't want to keep going on and on, but... Um, the Oscars are coming, and uh, I'm going to stick with my two films for the Oscars. The favourite, uh, which isn't the favourite, it's Roma is favourite, and of course Green Book. As for actress, I think Olivia Colman will beat uh, Glenn Close. I still believe in it. I think she was outstanding. I want to mention a BBC series, which uh, I've got a lot of American subscribers, uh, called Les Mis, Les Mirab. Uh, the BBC have filmed this in Austria and it is absolutely stunning. It really is. The visual shots and everything, the costumes are fantastic. The lighting, the acting, Dominic West is a strong leader of this cast with Olivia Coleman and uh, the black actor I can't remember who played in Selma. It's just unbelievably beautifully acted. It's just so well made. And um, Dominic West, for me, is one of our best actors. 
He played Fred West, uh, which was a killer in Bristol a few years ago on TV, and it was, oh, what a performance. And again, he comes from a series which I keep going on and on about. If you've never seen it, smack your ass. It's called The Wire. Every actor that's come out of The Wire has all gone on to greater things. Denzel Washington's son was in The Wire. Do not miss the... Sorry, not Denzel Washington's son. The boy who played Creed. He was a kid in The Wire. Do not miss The Wire. It really is. Talking about Denzel Washington's son, you must watch The Black Klansman. If you haven't seen that yet... Definitely don't miss that. That is Spike Lee's best performance. So, there's lots I can discuss. Lots I can go on about. I won't. i watched Close. It's on Netflix. There's lots more coming up on Netflix. I could have watched another one called I.O., which was science fiction. That came out yesterday as well. Didn't bother with that. Uh, the Punisher's coming out. I want to see that on Netflix. I do like the old uh, Marvel Punisher. So, lots going on. Lots to look forward to. I hope you're all good out there. Leave your comments. If you want to subscribe, I'll be very appreciative. And uh, more importantly, leave your comments. I'm going to be doing a video with my son in the next couple of days because we've watched uh, a lot of stuff, me and him, stuff that's old, and I don't bother to review it. Like Bohemian Rhapsody, I would have given that, I don't know, 8 out of 10. I really did enjoy it, but I just don't think he'll win the Oscar. I think the performances all around the film are great, but I just don't think he'll win the Oscar. So have a great weekend, and if anything else comes along, even Bumblebee, I might do one tomorrow. Who knows? All the best to you, and I'll see you all soon.